Bonjour Yetan et bienvenue au uh, Corpo aujourd'hui. Right guys, so really looking forward to this lesson today because we're doing something um, that you'll be able to use when you go to French is real for oh go to France is real French. We are giving and taking directions today, people. This is what it's all about. By the end of this video, you'll be able to give and take directions. You might need to watch it a few times, you might need to practice quite a bit, but this is what it's all about. Now you will need this when you go to France. I know what you're thinking, like you've got maps on your phone now, and you're right, it's so much easier these days. However, um, where I lived in France, Aix-en-Provence was like a tiny little medieval town. Your maps would not help you. The roads are really narrow and they're all next to each other. Like you couldn't find out where you were. So giving and taking directions was absolutely key. I lived there a year and I'd still get lost in that tiny little labyrinth of tunnels. So this is what you need. Giving and taking directions is a fundamental part of French and it could be your GCC role play. So we're going to have a look at that. Next lesson, we'll look at the role plays. Today it's all about giving and taking directions. Let's go for it. Alors, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, s'il vous plaît, il faut copier, ou plutôt, il faut inventer la date, euh, copier le titre du genre, indiquer le chemin, et ici, le contrôle de post-it, c'est plus difficile. Comment dit-on les six choses ici en français? Bon courage, on y va! Alors, mes petits, on commence, right guys, so I've already explained today we're giving and understanding directions in French. I've had to change this lesson a lot from what we do in class, um, because it's loads of like speaking with your partners, and obviously, that ain't gonna work. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna still test you on giving and taking directions, but it's gonna be more taking directions today and we'll be giving it next lesson when we do our old play. So a tough post and note challenge today. I bet you got barely any of these. Five and six you should have nailed. You should know our question words. Let's see what we've got. Donc le premier, is it that? On dit est-ce que? So this is how you ask a question. Put est-ce que in the front of any statement. So est-ce que il est grand? Uh, is it that he's tall? Est-ce que il est cool? Is it that he's cool? Est-ce que tu manges uh, du chocolat? Do you eat chocolate? So all of this, est-ce que, is how you form a sentence. You've got to know it. How is, comment, where is and where are. So you know the word for is, you know the word for are, you know the word for where. Je put them all together. U et et u sont. Voilà. Alors, numéro 5. I want to go. You should know this. You know a verb to one. It's a key verb. Je veux aller. Et I would like to go, je voudrais aller. Voilà, so if you didn't get these, now you look at them, I'm sure it's jogged your memory. All lesson today is going to be a bit more unfamiliar stuff, so get used to it. Before we start, I want to see what you know. Alors mes petits, donc pour commencer aujourd'hui, ici on a le nouveau vocabulaire en français. Ici c'est en anglais, trouver la paire entre les deux. Aujourd'hui, si c'est bien, parce que beaucoup de vocabulaire ici, c'est inconnu. Vous avez un défi additionnel ici, regardez ça. Donc, vous avez deux minutes, mettez-moi ce pause et, when I'm paused, put two minutes on a timer on your phone and then see what you can do, guys. After two minutes, restart me and I'll blitz the answers. Allez, on y va! Alors, les réponses, mes petits, let's go for it then. This is what you should have had. Donc, le premier, comment... Uh, aller au stade, c'est comment dire how do you go to the stadium. So literally you say how to go in French. Sounds like pigeon language, doesn't it? Comment aller, how to go to the stadium, ça veut dire E. Alors le deuxième, est-ce qu'il y a un musée près d'ici? This is another way to ask. It means uh, j'ai, is it that there is a museum close to here? So is the museum close to here? That's the way to do it. Numéro 3 et numéro 4, we've seen these already. U is where is. Où sont is where are. Alors, donc, numéro 5, 6 et 7, ce sont les verbes. Vous voyez, ce sont les verbes. Donc, ici, on a prenez, va aller, traverse, traverser. Qu'est-ce qui c'est? C'est prenez, comme sur le verbe prendre, c'est take. Ça, so, c'est H. Voilà, si c'est like take a left, take a right, take the second street. Va et aller, comme pour ma verbe aller, you should know this one, which is F. Um, numéro 7, Traverse, traverser, there was only one verb left over here, and it was J to cross something. Donc, traverser le rond-point, is like go across the, the um, roundabout. Alors, numéro 8, numéro 9, these two are easy. You might not know the language, but you can work it out. We've got la première et la deuxième. Donc, la première is the first, la deuxième is the second. Donc, il faut avoir D et I, et finalement, 10. Allez, tu dois... Jusqu'à, love this word, jusqu'à means until, one of my favorite sounding words in French. Numéro 2, c'est d'accord avec B, go straight until, et finalement, numéro 11, ce sont en face de la mairie, 
Voila, c'est à the opposite the town hall. Now I've put this in because it always comes up, right? Always on the reading and listening exam. There's two ways to say the town hall. You can say hôtel de ville, which people always confuse for a hotel, or you can say la mairie, which is like the mayor's place because the mayor runs a town. Right, guys? So I think you, you would have done really well on this. Six or more is very impressive today. If you got into the extra challenge, how did you say? How do I get to the cafe? Take the first road on the left and it's opposite the school. So use the language you've got up here. Here's our answer. Comment aller au café? Prenez ou prends la deux premières rue à droite et c'est en face du collège. Guys, if you got that, you did really well. Think you're ready to move on? What I want to do today then is there's loads of like funny bits of little grammar that we need to talk about and that you need to get right for when you go to France and ask for directions and if you get this on your exam. So the first thing we're going to say, learn how to say to the or at the. Now, if we were in BB9, I could point at this on display because it's something people always get wrong. But you're going to have to learn it off by heart today or no display to help you. Then number two and three, we're going to look at a tense. Now, don't worry. It's not a tense that's complicated or difficult or even that you'll use a lot. It's a very simple tense and you just need to know the answer to number three and you're away. All right, let's get started with our grammar today. Alors mes petits, so you will need to say you want to go to the place, I want to go to the cafe, I want to go to the restaurant, I want to go to the mosque or whatever. Now this is a bit trickier in French because there's four ways to say to the one up is the four ways. Hopefully you know. C'est à cause du masculin, féminin, avec voile et pluriel. So this is what you need to know. The word for two is a. And then the word for the obviously changes for masculine, feminine and plural. Now, when they get together, they change form. And you've got to know this off by heart. So a and le change to o. A la stays the same. A la. A le stays the same. And a plus le, uh, <laughs> ça fait o. So this changes to, to say to the, you say either o, a la, a la, o. It's really easy to remember because it sounds so good. O, a la, a la, o, o, a la, a la, o. Exactement. So, o à la à la o is how you say to the. You've got to know if the place you're going to is masculine, feminine, plural, or starts of a vowel. Alors, right, guys, just test yourself on number one. Can you answer this question? How do you say to the? And what are the four ways? And why are there four ways? Have a little pause. Think about it. If you can't answer this, you've not been paying attention. Go back to the former slide and then come back to us. Here's what you should have. So to say to you that you need o à la à la o, o à la à la o. And there's four ways for masculine, feminine, vowel and plural. Voila. Right, guys, the next thing. Don't worry, this isn't a tense. You don't even really need to know this for GCC. It's just some interesting stuff for you to think about. So the imperative is a sort of tense. If you give a command, you just use a verb in the imperative form. Now, we do this in English as well, but you wouldn't you wouldn't even realise you're doing it because it's so similar to what you're usually doing. It's the same in French. So I've got two sentences down here. Now, both of these are fine. Both of these are grammatically correct. Um, and both of these you would use. But which one sounds right? If someone said to you they're in Sutton, they've come like someone from France has heard England's beautiful. And they've come to visit the beautiful town of Sutton. And they know that there's a really good Asda in Sutton. So they say to you, how do I get to Asda? You know, the jewel in the crown of Sutton High Street. Which one of these would you say? Turn left at Starbucks and go straight on. Or you turn left at Starbucks and then you go straight on. Which one would you say? Alors, you could say them both. But I definitely, definitely go for this one here as the most natural one. This is the imperative form in English. So what's different from this form and this form? Just this word here, the you. And it's exactly the same in French. For imperative, all you need to do is, usually you say like, tu vas, uh, tu prends, ou vous allez, vous prenez. You just drop this when you're giving directions. And then a little bit of extra challenge here, you just drop the S when you write it. But you very rarely write this form down. You're very rarely giving directions or orders uh, in your written French. So this is all you need to know. Drop the two and drop the V today. Right, guys. So put me on pause. To see if you can answer these four questions. Allons mes petits, how do you say to the? You say o oh, à la à la o, oh, o oh, à la à la o. Oh. Voilà, there's four ways because of masculine, feminine, vowel and plural. To give commands, you use the imperative. If something's imperative, it means you have to do it. And what you drop, you just don't need the to or vu. You don't need to say you go left, you go right. You just say go left, turn right, go up, go down, shut up. All of that is the imperative. Alors donc, 
Vipiti, we've looked at the grammar. Now let's put it together. Next lesson, you'll be doing a role play on this, a proper GCC role play. And one day you'll be in France and you'll need to use it. Think back to this moment. Let's go for some directions. Alors, mes petits, here's all the different ways to ask um, where we're going. You know what to do. S'il vous plaît, mes petits, répétez après moi. Alors, non, comment aller? Comment aller? Comment, comment aller? Comment, comment aller? Oh, à la, à la, oh. O, oh, à la, à la, o. Oh. Or you can ask it this way. U, E, U, E, U, son, U, son, U, E, U, son, U, E, U, son. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Or another way to ask it. Est-ce qu'il y a? Est-ce qu'il y a? Est-ce, est-ce, est-ce qu'il y a? Un, une D. Près de ici. Près d'ici. Près d'ici. Est-ce qu'il y a un mosquée près de ici? Voilà, alors, donc, et voilà, we're going to use comment aller as the best phrase today. Donc, comment, comment aller à la mosquée? Comment aller à la mosquée? Comment aller au jardin public? Comment aller au jardin public? Comment aller à l'église? Comment aller à l'église? Comment aller à la poste? Comment aller à la poste? Comment aller au marché? Comment aller au marché? Comment comment aller à la bibliothèque? À la bibliothèque. Comment aller à la bibliothèque? That's too hard. Alors comment aller? Comment aller? Au château, au château, comment aller au château, comment aller au restaurant, comment aller au restaurant, comment aller, comment aller au son de loisir, au son de loisir, comment aller au stade, comment aller au café, comment aller au magasin, comment aller au magasin. Comment aller au musée? Comment aller au musée? Comment aller au supermarché? Comment aller au supermarché? Comment aller à l'hôtel? Comment aller à l'hôtel? Comment aller? Comment aller? Comment aller à la gare? Comment aller à la gare? So this means like the station is our SNCF. Voilà, alors donc, et les directions, alors donc, c'est si on a les verbes, allez va, allez va, continue, continuer, continue, continuer, tu dois, tu dois, tu dois, tu dois, à gauche, à droite, ton à gauche, ton 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 à droite. Alors, donc, allez, tu dois continuer, tu dois. Tourne à gauche, tourne à droite, tourne à gauche, tourne à droite. Allez, tu dois. Allez, tu dois. Tourne à gauche, tourne à droite, tourne à gauche, tourne à droite. Tourne à gauche, tourne à droite, tourne à gauche, tourne à droite. Hello, right guys, now you know the directions. We need to put it in a bit more detail than that for you to be able to cope with the next bits of these lessons and for you to give and take successful directions. We got a bit more language to learn. Alors donc, répétez après moi mes petits. Donc, prenez, prenez la première rue, la première rue, à droite, à droite. Prenez, prenez la deuxième rue, à droite. À droite. Prenez la deuxième rue à droite. Prenez la deuxième rue à droite. La troisième rue à droite. La troisième rue à droite. Prenez. Prenez. Prenez la troisième rue à droite. Prenez la troisième rue à droite. Prenez la troisième rue à droite. Voilà, 
Allez, on continue à gauche. Donc, prends, prenez, prends, prenez, prenez la première rue à gauche. Prenez la première rue à gauche. Prenez la deuxième rue à gauche. Prenez la deuxième rue à gauche. Prenez la troisième rue à gauche. Alors, on continue. C, U, C, U, C, U, exactement. C, U, C, U, C, U, exactement. C, près de. C, près de. C, près, C, près, C, près de. C, loin de. C'est loin de. C'est près de, c'est loin de, c'est près de, c'est loin de. C'est près de, c'est loin de, c'est près de, c'est loin de. Alors, c'est en face de. C'est en face de. C'est au coin de. C'est au coin de. Coin, 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 coin de. Love that word, it's all in your nose. C'est au coin de. C'est à côté de. C'est à côté de. Alors, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Mettez-moi ce pause, mes petits. Et vous avez 36 secondes. Les mots ici vont disparaître. Donc, il faut dire, parce que tu es toute seule, il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais. Par exemple, cross, traverse, traverser, go down, descend, descendez, go, va, allez, turn, 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 take, prends, prenez. Voilà. No way you can do it faster than that. So, see what you can do. Put me on pause. When you restart me, I'll count you down and we'll go for it. Alors, mes petits, bon courage. On commence en 3, 2, 1. I don't even think about getting a hand start. 3, 2, 1, allez Allez, allez, allez. Alors, le premier colon s'est disparu. On y va. Allez, allez, allez. Dernier colonne. Et 5, 4, et 3, 2, 1. Alors, c'est fini. Bon effort. If you got to the end of that, I think that was tough today. Same again. Et alors, maintenant, j'ai pris les lettres. Donc, mettez-moi ce pause pour quelques secondes et euh, fais un peu de répétition toute seule. Quand tu es prêt, recommence, Mr. Ennis, et je vais compter. What's that? You want an example? All right, and I'll show you how good I am. So good at this game. So, cross, traverse, traverse, go down, descend, descend, go, allez, va, allez, turn, 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 take, prends, prends, prenez, voilà, all right. This is a bit difficult today. Take your minutes preparation and restart me when you're ready. Alors mes petits, et on commence en hein? 3, 2, 1, allez Allez, allez, tu le montres, c'est beaucoup plus compliqué. Le premier colon s'est disparu, allez Alors donc, 10 secondes, je crois. Et 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. C'est fini, tu le monde. Alors, right, I think a lot of you wouldn't have got to the end of that. Bonne fin, mes petits. Et voilà, right, guys. So, see if you can answer these questions before we put you to the next test. Alright guys, you should restart me. How to say two things, easy to remember. Oh, à la, à la, e, voilà. Et there are four ways because of masculine, feminine and plural. Remember, if you give someone a command, it is imperative that they do it. And then you drop the two in the view, you don't need it. So, you've looked at the language, we've looked at this grammar. Let's put you to the test. Hello, mes petits. Sur la feuille, vous avez une carte et vous avez euh, les phrases après. Donc, je vais tourner au deuxième... Euh, Uh, voilà, ici c'est la carte que vous avez sur la feuille. Alors mes petits, alors ça, so, je vais expliquer l'activité en français. Donc ici vous avez la carte 
Et ici, vous avez les phrases qui sont les directions. Alors, la chose la plus importante, commencez toujours d'ici pour chaque question. Alors, je vais redire ça en anglais. You've got to start here for every single question. This says, vous êtes ici, you are here. For each question, you always start here. If you don't do that, you're going to get every answer wrong. Donc, vous êtes ici. Et ici, vous avez les directions. Donc, il faut suivre les directions à un endroit. Par exemple, numéro 1. Allez, tu dois, et prenez la troisième rue à gauche. D'accord? All right, so, allez, tu dois, means go straight ahead. Voilà. Et prenez la troisième rue, towards the third street. À gauche is to the left. All right, straight on. Third street to the left. Here we go. Think I know where we're going. Continue jusqu'à la fin de la rue. Go to the end of the street. Et voilà, I'm at the market. Donc ici, on écrit au marché. Voilà. All right, then. Number two. Always start back here. Prenez la première rue. De... OK. All right, I'm doing this one. Voilà. So, start here. Suivez les directions. Et on arrive à quel endroit? Ça, c'est activité 1. Regardez, they get a bit tougher as you go on for like, for example, number seven says, hmm, I'm not sure. And they send you on like the scenic route to the place. Donc, suivez les directions, mes petits. One more time, always start here, otherwise you're going to get them all wrong. Alors, l'activité la plus difficile, cette fois, vous avez les questions. Donc, commencez ici, voilà, imaginez qu'on est ici, il faut écrire. Les réponses à la question. Donc, comment aller à la gare routière? So, la gare is the train station. La gare routière is the bus station. So, la route is the road. So, the road station. Voilà. Donc, comment aller à la gare routière? You start here. So, you need to say, go straight ahead. Take the second on the left. Voilà. Donc, il faut répondre aux questions en français. That's your more difficult challenge. Voilà. Alors mes petits, I'll give you 10 minutes for this. Have a look at the questions, have a look at the map, see what you can do. Put me on pause, I'll go for the answers in a minute. Alors mes petits, allez, réponse. If you're not finished, put me on pause. Let's go through where you should be. All answers come up in French. If you've done it in English, don't worry about it, that's fine. Alors donc, on y va mes petits. Alors donc, le premier, we sort of did this together. On est allé au marché, voilà, la deuxième. Prenez la première rue à droite, voilà, avancez un peu, et c'est à gauche, avant la fin de la rue. So, advance a bit, um, and it's on your left before the end of the street. What's on my left? Voilà, c'est le cinéma, voilà, je suis allé au cinéma. Alors donc, le troisième, c'est très près d'ici, qui veut dire en anglais, it's very close to here. All right, easy. Prenez la première rue à gauche. Et continuez jusqu'à la fin de la rue. Et vous êtes arrivé, voilà, c'est la piscine. Voilà. Alors, donc, numéro 4, commence avec malheureusement, c'est assez loin. Qui veut dire en anglais, unfortunately, it's quite far. All right, so look at these far reaching places. What have we got? Allez, tu dois et prenez la deuxième rue à droite. 1, 2. Après, continuez, tu dois. Et continuez, tu dois. Après l'hôpital et le cinéma. So continue straight on after the hospital and the cinema. Just keep going straight. Et voilà, je suis arrivé au supermarché. Voilà. Mark for four out of the first four. Et maintenant, c'est plus compliqué. Alors donc, ce n'est pas loin d'ici. It's not far away from here. Allez, tu dois. Et prenez la deuxième rue à droite. Un, deux. Voilà. Puis, tournez à gauche immédiatement. Voilà, je suis au musée. Alors donc, le sixième. Je ne suis pas sûr. I'm not certain. Alors, prenez la première rue à droite. OK. Et continuez jusqu'à la fin de la rue. D'accord. Puis, tournez à gauche. OK. Et avancez. And go forward. Continuez après le cinéma. Et après l'hôpital. OK. Puis, tournez à droite. Et continuer jusqu'à la fin de la rue. Ah, right, it wasn't the easiest way to get there, mais on est arrivé à la plage. Voilà. Et donc, finalement, numéro 7 dit, hmm, je ne suis pas sûr. I'm not sure. 
Allez, tu dois. Et prenez la deuxième rue à droite. En deux. Continuez jusqu'à la fin de la rue. There we go. Puis, tournez à droite. Et continuez jusqu'à la fin de la rue. Puis, tournez à gauche. Voilà. I'm going to C'est le stade. Both le stade. There's two stadiums, people. Donc, le stade, c'est ici. Voilà. Alors, numéro 8. Comment aller à la gare routière? Donc, c'est ici. There's a few ways to get there, but this is the simple one. Allez, tu dois. Prenez la deuxième rue à gauche. Tu dois. Deuxième rue à gauche. Numéro 9. Comment aller à la gare? Ah, oh, elles sont de stuff. Um, allez, tu dois. Prenez la troisième rue à la droite. One more for that. Avancez ou continuez. Tournez à gauche. And then après le musée, even better if you did that. If you've got decent directions, give yourself a mark. Et finalement, comment aller à l'hôpital? Where's the hospital? Ah, voilà, c'est ici. Donc, I've got, allez, tu dois. Prenez la deuxième rue à droite. Avancez, continuez. Tournez à gauche. Or tournez à gauche après le musée. That'd be perfect. Right, guys. Well done if you got into 8, 9 and 10. Allow me pity, right guys, you've worked really hard today on directions. This is harder to do on a YouTube lesson because usually we do loads of speaking, but you've done well. Pause me now, see if you can answer these three things, and then restart me when you're ready. Allow me pity, so this is what you should have. How do you say to thee? Oh, ala ala o for masculine, and feminine, and vowel and plural. The tense to give commands is the imperative, and you don't need the to, you need all the vu. You just say, allez, va, tourne, continue. Voilà. Alors, donc, alors, two things to do before the end of the lesson then. Directions, you might remember them right now, but come next lesson, you would have forgotten them. And this is the thing you have to keep in your long term memory and remember it and recall it all the time. So your homework is going to really help you today. There's three things I want you to do. So first off, get on Memorize. All of this is open to you on Memorize. You should be using Memorize all the time in lockdown to get on a bit. Then I've got a daily test of the absolute essential directions. These aren't all the ones you need to know. It's just the essentials to survive. Make sure you do all daily tests to get ready. Then we've got this activity, a little reading, and then we've got a translation. So all of this is your homework for next lesson. We'll start with the vocab test. Make sure you've been on Memorize. Right, that's not the end. We'll finish off with a little test. Alors, mes petits, on va finir avec un petit contrôle. Alors, donc maintenant, je vais dire euh, les directions vers un endroit. Il faut écouter moi. Il faut commencer ici, tu genre. Il faut suivre les directions pour trouver l'endroit. Et écrire, euh, il faut écrire l'endroit ici. D'accord? Donc, um, X Challenge, c'est ici. I'm also going to say these words. You've heard another way of saying this. I'm going to say a different way to say these things. Listen up. Now, I'm only going to read them out once. You're going to need to like pause, rewind, listen again. You're going to need a few goes at this because I'm going to be particularly mean to see what you can do. Alors, donc, remember, always start. Always, always start from here. Question, uh, visit ici, always, for every single question. All right, let's go for it. Question 1. Allez, tu dois... Puis, prenez la deuxième rue à droite et c'est à gauche. You can rewind me if you want. Question 2. Ce n'est pas loin. Allez, tu dois. Et c'est la deuxième rue à gauche. C'est au but de la rue. Question 3. C'est assez loin. Prenez la première rue à gauche et continuez jusqu'au but de la rue. C'est entre le supermarché et le stade. Et numéro 4, numéro 4 est très difficile. Attention. Allez, tu dois jusqu'au musée et puis tourner à droite. Continuez. Et t'en est à gauche après l'hôpital. Puis, c'est tu dois. Et après quelques mètres, c'est à droite. Alors, right guys, number four is nasty. Put me on pause. Feel free to like rewind and check and see what we've got. And I'm going to go through the answers now. Alors donc, pour question 1, on est arrivé au musée ici. Voilà. Pour question 2, on est arrivé à la mosquée. Question 3, on est arrivé à la bibliothèque ici. Et question 4, c'était difficile et pas direct, mais on est arrivé à la plage. Right, guys, 
Give yourself a mark out of four for that. Bon me Fiti, you've worked really hard today. Uh, just as I go and get the door, well done for your efforts. If you need anything, email me on Mr. Bracken. À la prochaine fois, mes petits. Au revoir.